A quiet Williamston neighborhood is now the center of attention for the Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, they got on to it right away. EPA came in and is in charge of the cleanup. Bill Larson lives next door to the contaminated home. Earlier this year, the 12-year-old boy found a vial of mercury and started playing with it. When it broke in the high school parking lot, the boy didn't think much more about it. I've seen him outside this summer and he seems to be fine. The boy's duffel bag was contaminated. When he went on the scouting trip, he got sick. Then Monday, he was hospitalized, which sparked the investigation and cleanup. Bedding, if you have carpet, if you have clothing, that's not salvageable. That's going to have to go into a roll-off box and go to a hazardous waste landfill. The EPA has brought out several items from the home that are contaminated. You can see this box of Legos, 47,290. That's about five times what is a safe level of mercury. What happens is a lot of people, when they spill the mercury, they'll try and vacuum it up. Not a good idea. If you look at the vacuum, 68,000, that's about seven times what is considered a safe level of mercury. The decontamination crew will try to salvage any items with sentimental value. Unfortunately, a lot of the items are lost. Students at school were not affected. I feel very confident that, you know, that we're fine. The superintendent says the boy has not been back to school. Larson says the family is a great neighbor and he hopes for the best. Oh, I just hope that the, uh, they all recover and there's no lingering problems. It's a feeling shared by all.